What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video we're talking about something very important if you're planning to jailbreak in the near future and if you want to be able to jailbreak in the near future and that is of course how to save your tickets for downgrades and upgrades in the future. This video is brought to you by AnyTrance, a software that allows you to manage your phone and the content on it and of course the applications and stuff like that. Then you can manage your iCloud account and media library. You can check it out in the link below. There is a free version available for you to get. So as said in this video I'm going to show you how to save those tickets also called blobs. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to save them for A12, A13 and A14 as well but also for the older devices because now it's possible to save those blobs or SHSH blobs or tickets no matter how you want to call them even on an A12 device without a jailbreak directly from your computer. And this is thanks to an open source project called Blob Saver, this one in here, which as I said completely open source and it can save the blobs without having a jailbreak, which was impossible before this on newer devices like the iPhone 12, iPhone 11, Dennis Max and so on. So right now the versions that are currently signed are for example iOS 14.6, 14.7 betas and stuff like that. There's also of course the iOS 15 which is in beta 1 but we don't need that for the moment. Now if you're planning to jailbreak the iOS 14.6 is not necessarily the best version to be on but it's probably better than being on 14.7 and you will be able to downgrade in the future back to 14.6 when 14.7 will be out, when 15 will be out and stuff like that. So you would definitely want to save those blobs because it only takes a couple of minutes and it allows you to downgrade or upgrade in the future when a jailbreak is available. So how exactly do you do that? Well you do that with a program called Blob Saver. It has been featured before on this channel but I'm making this video for those of you who are new to the channel. And this video is for 14.6. So if you go ahead in here you can get the project but it's available here on the releases. You don't have to compile it yourself. You press here on the releases and there will be 3.0.1. Back when I made my previous video I featured 2.5.5 and the 3.0 which was in beta at that point. Now there is 3.0.1 which is available for both Windows, Mac OS and also for Linux. You can even install it with Winget or Brew which is quite great and it doesn't require Java anymore. Now it suffices to say that this program is completely free. So if you're willing to help the project you can definitely donate to the person making this project but that's of course not necessary for the project to work. So it looks like this when you open it it says blob saver and you can read directly from the device everything you need. Now previously on the A12, A14 and A13 devices you would need to basically set a generator and then reboot the device in recovery mode, connect it to the terminal, use the iDevice info to get some information and stuff like that and paste it in here to save the blobs which was indeed tedious and required the jailbreak. Nowadays you don't need to do any of that, you can just save it without a jailbreak. And those blobs would be valid because they do get a valid generator. So I'm going to press read from device in here and as you can see it got my ACID no problem, it got my iPhone model no problem, I don't even have to specify that. And as you can see it says iPhone, iPhone XS Max in here, so you no longer have to pick it manually, possibly introducing errors. And then of course you can get the blobs for only one version, you can specify it in here for beta versions you can give it a URL to the IPSW or for all signed versions which I definitely recommend because this one would also get some betas. And if you have an older device for example iPhone 10 or lower at this point that's everything you have to do you press go and you're good to go. However if you have a newer device like iPhone 10, 12, 10s Max, 10R and stuff like that then you need an additional step and that would be the app nonce which was impossible to get before this program came without a jailbreak. Now you can do it directly from the computer, you press read from device and it says in here what kind of device do you have, is it jailbroken or is it not jailbroken and I'm gonna say that it's not jailbroken because it's running 14.6 and it's going to put my device in recovery mode. The device will reboot, it's normal, don't worry, it's going to show a laptop logo and a power cable which again is completely normal and then of course you're going to get probably a notification from iTunes and stuff like that. It says reading app nouns in here and there you go, successfully got app nouns exiting recovery mode. So as you can see it's that simple, now we have to wait for the device to reboot back to normal.
normal, which it will do, it shows the Apple logo, you will probably have to input your passcode after it reboots, but that's basically it. So we're waiting for it to finish booting and it says please unlock your device, which I have and as you can see it says success, we press finish and it got all this information from the device and this is the generator which created this app nonce. Now without this two in here, the blob would not be valid, but having them in here we can now press go and it will save the blobs with that data and of course creating valid blobs and it says successfully saved for 14.6 and that's it. It saved them on users geosnow blobs so it created a new folder. You should keep in mind the folder where it saves them but that's basically it and you can do this on Windows, you can do this on Linux, you can do this on Mac OS, it doesn't matter what you have. So this is a very very good program. Shout out to Air Squared for creating this program, definitely donate to them with this link in here. As little as one dollar helps because this program is very very good. It can save blobs where other programs wouldn't. For example the tsssaver.onecanon.com would not be able to save the blobs for A12 without you specifying those app nodes and generators from a jailbroken device. This one it can. So yeah go ahead and save your blobs for 14.6 and definitely you can try to save them for the beta for 14.7 but it's not required for jailbreak purposes right now. But if you want to jailbreak in the near future and if you want to make sure that you can when a jailbreak is out, definitely save your blobs. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.